Hi, I'm Roger and welcome to the Loft Above the Shop. And this is update number three on my little warranty fiasco with uh, Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer, which I have sitting here next to me. Uh, I, If you watched the last uh, update, update number two, I contested the charges on my credit card as a uh, item received, not as described. So now Banggood will give me the refund but I have to send them the main board and the extruder to China and they'll pay for the shipping. Now here is where it gets just stupid and lacks all common sense. The only thing that's wrong with this printer is it needs a main board. A main board is $38. My cost if I buy one. It's going to cost them $37 for me to send this main board and extruder back to China. Then they're going to give me the refund. The uh, back charge can, on the credit card I know costs them $35 because we have an e-commerce business and I know what it costs when you get a back charge. So th this is just beyond any type of common sense. So what I will have after today is a Ender 3 V2 printer without an extruder and without a main board. So what am I going to do after I get this stuff all sent to them? I'm going to buy a main board and buy an updated extruder, dual gear, and put that together, and then I'll have a working printer again. This, you know, this is just way beyond common sense what they're doing here, but whatever. The other thing I was thinking is, since I'm going to have this all tore apart and I haven't made a final decision yet, I was intending to make an enclosure for this because the ambient temperature up here, we don't keep this heated uh, real high in the uh, winter time. And we usually keep it about 60, unless we have guests. And if we have guests staying up here, then I'm not going to be able to have this up here anyway. But I was going to make an enclosure for it, if nothing else, keep dust out of it if I do have to take it down into the shop. Well, one of the things you want with an uh, enclosure is not have the electronics in it. So if I have all the electronics out of it, I may relocate them. Whether or not I'll do this right away or uh, just get this thing up and working again first, we'll wait and see. That's my latest update about the lack of common sense with Banggood. I'm not faulting Creality at this. It's uh, entirely possible to have bad electronics. That happens. It happens with anything. I don't care what brand it is. This just is on the end of ridiculous what I'm having to go through on this and what their solution is. At any rate, that's my uh, number three update, and I'm going to proceed to take the main board and extruder off of this and send it back to China. And we'll update you again when I get some new parts and put this thing back together and get it working. I'm Roger, above the shop. Thanks for watching.